Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has declared a direct threat to Iran's nuclear program. The Israeli leader's stark warning was captured in a video statement where he asserted, We will strike Iran's nuclear facilities. Our counterattack is coming. This escalation in rhetoric could reshape the entire Middle East landscape, potentially altering everything from regional alliances to global oil markets. With Iran's nuclear capabilities reportedly advancing rapidly, Israel now faces a ticking clock that hasn't been this urgent since the height of the Cold War. But here's the twist. Iran isn't backing down. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian responded with an equally forceful threat, stating, If strikes are carried out against our nuclear facilities, Israel will suffer equivalent retaliation against its nuclear facilities. This exchange of threats marks a dangerous new phase in the long-standing tensions between Israel and Iran. Netanyahu's statement comes amid growing concerns over Iran's nuclear program, which Tehran insists is for peaceful purposes. However, Israel, along with several Western nations, believes Iran is secretly pursuing nuclear weapons. The Israeli Prime Minister has long been a vocal critic of Iran's nuclear ambitions, repeatedly calling for tougher international action. This latest declaration suggests Israel may be prepared to take matters into its own hands, potentially without waiting for international consensus. Such a move would have far-reaching consequences, not just for Israel and Iran, but for the entire region and beyond. It could trigger a wider conflict, drawing in other regional powers and possibly even global superpowers. The United States, Israel's closest ally, has yet to respond officially to Netanyahu's statement. However, US officials have previously expressed concern over potential unilateral action by Israel against Iran. Iran, for its part, has consistently denied any intentions to develop nuclear weapons. The country maintains that its nuclear program is solely for energy production and medical research. But Iran's recent advancements in uranium enrichment have raised alarm bells in the international community. The International Atomic Energy Agency reported last month that Iran has enriched uranium to 84% purity. This is dangerously close to the 90% threshold required for weapons-grade material. Iran's foreign minister's retaliatory threat introduces a new level of danger to the situation. This mutual awareness of each other's nuclear potential creates a precarious balance of power in the region. But here's what's keeping diplomats up at night, the risk of miscalculation. With both sides issuing such stark threats, even a minor incident could potentially spiral into a full-scale conflict. The international community is now scrambling to defuse the situation before it reaches a point of no return. The United Nations Security Council is expected to convene an emergency session in the coming days. European Union Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell called for immediate de-escalation, stating, the world cannot afford another war in the Middle East. Meanwhile, oil prices have surged on global markets, reflecting investor fears of potential disruption to Middle East oil supplies. The impact of this crisis extends far beyond the immediate region, affecting global energy security and economic stability. Russia and China, both with significant interests in the region, have called for restraint from all parties. But with tensions running so high, it's unclear whether diplomatic efforts will be enough to prevent military action. Israeli defense officials have refused to comment on specific military plans, citing security concerns. However, military analysts suggest that any Israeli strike on Iran would likely involve a combination of air and cyber attacks. Such an operation would be extremely complex and risky, given Iran's sophisticated air defense systems and the hardened nature of its nuclear facilities. On the streets of Tehran and Tel Aviv, citizens are watching developments with growing anxiety. We don't want war, but we won't stand by while our country is threatened, said one Tehran resident. In Israel, opinions are divided. 
Netanyahu is playing a dangerous game, warned a Tel Aviv peace activist. But others support the Prime Minister's tough stance. We can't allow Iran to have nuclear weapons. It's existential for us, argued a resident of Stero. As the world holds its breath, the question remains, will cooler heads prevail, or are we on the brink of a devastating conflict? With each passing hour, the stakes grow higher and the margin for error grows smaller. The next few days could determine the future of the Middle East and potentially the world.